glass ceiling shattered this election 2020. The first black and Indian American woman America. voted into the second it's highest negative. office in the land. California also seeing a slew of historic firsts. Our community can no longer wait for incremental change. Alex Lee measure. winning the 25th district state assembly race by a landslide, becoming the youngest Asian American and the first openly bisexual state legislator ever. But it's also an incredible responsibility to me to make sure that there are more young, progressive people of color that continue to break these records. It was never about making history. It was about doing the work and serving. Elk Grove mayor-elect Bobby Singh Allen, now the first directly elected Sikh mayor in the country. It's my hope to bring not only more young Sikh girls, Indian Americans, but just women of color, because we all need to have a seat at the table. If we don't have a seat at the table, then we're on the menu. It's really important that we have leaders that reflect our population. And Sacramento will soon have its first Hmong and Asian American female council member in my vein. When we think about our communities that we actually have more in common than we do our differences. When I get to City Hall, when I think about um, executing an agenda for this community, it's going to be a collective agenda that's going to include everyone. Well, I think it means that the concerns of diverse communities will finally be addressed. Assemblyman David Chu chairs the Asian Pacific Islander Legislative Caucus. Clearly, there is more work to do, um, but I suspect that now that you have have communities that had never had a seat at the table at the table, it'll get others to engage and we'll see the kind of democracies and governance that uh, we've all hoped for. An incoming assembly member Lee tells me that on his first day of work, he plans to introduce a bill, a bill that would prevent corporations from contributing to candidates. Reporting from the state capitol, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News.